when we're talking about eye cell disease and what causes it. So the key thing that's the problem with eye cell disease is that you're getting an accumulation of things like proteoglycans that are typically able to be degraded by your lysosomes. And so the question is, why are your lysosomes not able to degrade these proteoglycans or the GAGs, the glycosaminoglycans that are typically things that the cell is able to endocytose and then fuse with the lysosome to break these things down into their constituent monosaccharides. And so the problem has to do with the way in which protein is being trafficked inside of that cell. And so what researchers have very well characterized, and that's the reason why it's so commonly tested on uh, board exams, has to do with the mono mannose 6-phosphate tag that gets placed onto the proteins that are supposed to be bound for lysosomes. So the proteins, the hydrolases themselves that are supposed to go to the lysosomes are perfectly fine, but the issue is that when they're made or after they're made in the Golgi apparatus where the post-translational post modifications are being uh, done, the mannose 6-phosphate tag, that sugar, uh, is not able to get put onto that protein. And so this results in the hydrolases that are supposed to make their way over to the lysosomes never getting there. And instead, because these uh, proteins that should have gone to lysomes don't have this tag on them, the cell assumes that these are secretory, secretory uh, proteins and it pushes them out of the cytoplasm. And so that's what happens during eye cell disease is basically patients who uh, normally would be able to break down gags are not able to do so because when their cells try to break down or degrade and recycle those gags, the lysosomes don't have the hydrolase enzymes that they need because of that mannose 6-phosphate tag never getting applied to it. And that was should have been done by a protein that's called a phosphotransferase. Um, and so if you see anything that mentions a phosphotransferase deficiency or a mutation in that, that's a very strong indication that you could be talking about eye cell disease and you know that it would result in this. It's a pretty rare disease, but we've characterized it very well. So um, that's something that is fair game for a test. And so I hope this is helpful. Thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time.